Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, I want to jump into, for the new players, checking out how you get into Age of Sigmar, and how you start your first army, or if you're relatively new, looking to start your second army, uh, how you might go about doing that in a little bit uh, more of an effective way than you did the first time. Uh, this is going to be kind of the, the uh, primer for a series I'm going to be doing on uh, getting into specific armies. So uh, look out for other army-specific videos to check those out. All right, first of all, picking an army in general. Um, you need to prioritize what features of the army you are most interested in. So basically all of these bullet points I'm about to go through, like try and figure out what things are most important to you and focus on finding the army that fits best with that. So first the aesthetics of the army, just what do the models look like uh, is a really basic one of that. Um, you can go jump into uh, just the Games Workshop website and take a look at the models from various different model lines and just kind of check it out there. Um, the narrative of an army is also, uh, can be an important one for people, uh, if you're into, uh, having a background that you like, uh, that there's lots of resources all over the internet that can kind of give you uh, a better idea of that. Um, I'll, uh, for that and many of these things, I'm going to drop a whole bunch of resources down in the description. Uh, if you're looking for more information on any of these. Um, ease of painting, also an important one, I think. Uh, if you're just starting out with miniature painting, looking at armies that are uh, not that difficult to paint are definitely, uh, can be a plus if you're looking to get something on the table relatively quickly. All right, next big category, play style. What does this army do? Uh, is it a heavy melee focused army? Is it a shooting focused army? Are you here for attrition? Is it fast? Does it do weird tricky stuff? You know, is it the equivalent of like a combo deck in Magic? Um, all of those kinds of things. For this, that's going to require a bit more research into them. Uh, maybe have some good conversations with other players that you know to pick things out uh, and get a better idea. Uh, the psychographics, uh, the basic uh, Timmy, Johnny, Spike idea, going to drop a link down below to a video that kind of goes through all of the different psychographic profiles and how they line up to each army. It's a bit subjective, but for those not familiar, uh, Timmy armies are very much about like experiencing something, whether that be uh, big stompy monsters or giant hordes of things or big swingy crazy stuff happening. Uh, that is very much what Timmy does. Johnny is very much about expression. Um, probably is going to like armies that do tricky, interesting things. Uh, they're kind of expressing their creativity in uh, their play style on the board. Spike is really about achievement and winning at things. Uh, not necessarily winning the game, but really uh, showing off how good they are at something. Um, so all three of these are just really different ways of approaching a game, um, what you like to do, what you want to focus on. Most people are some combination of the three in different ways. Um, I wish I knew a good test uh, around on the internet somewhere to figure out what category you fall into, but I think for most people it's pretty interesting. If you just do a little bit of self-reflection on what you like to do in other games, yeah, you can come to this pretty quickly. Competitiveness of an army. Um, this is not one that I ever really recommend people to check out just because it changes so often, like what the best performing armies are. Um, there are stats that you can check out. I'll link to, um, uh, some stats in the description that you can go check out whatever the current hotness is, but, uh, always be warned that that doesn't necessarily last very long. You're one FAQ or errata away very frequently from uh, all of that falling apart on you. There's some armies that have been historically good or historically bad um, that, you know, the trend just kind of continues. 
Um, there might just be kind of niche stuff in there. And finally, looking at the startup cost of an army it could be important if you are uh, on a budget. Um, although most of the armies I think now to get started are roughly about the same. Um, you know, they've kind of priced them that way at this point. So uh, that one's a little bit more tricky. That's more of a, a thing you need to look at, you know, in, in a broader sense, how to buy an army for cheap. So once you picked an army, what do you do before you start buying stuff? Um, definitely don't want to just jump in and start buying things once you purchase an army. Um, you want to get a good idea of what the army does first, you know, uh, you know, get a basic feel for learning the army. There's a lot of good YouTube videos and podcasts and articles out there that you can check out. Uh, and I'll uh, link some resources for that down below. Um, you know, when a new book comes out, they you know, generally all get reviewed by somebody. Um, so that is uh, definitely a good resource. Um, and you can just review the army rules as well. Um, you know, download the Age of Sigmar app. Most of the armies are still in there for free. The PDF faction packs, um, they take a little bit of searching now to actually find them, but um, those are still available for free out there. Wahapedia, another really good reference. Um, that you can take a look at. Um, that's just most of the rules just kind of summarized more or less, and that is another free resource. Not exactly a, a, an official one, um, and probably frowned upon by Games Workshop, but, you know, they haven't been able to do anything about it yet. It's been around forever. Uh, and finally, uh, if there's a battle tome, like a current battle tome for an army, you can just borrow one from somebody that you know, um, just to kind of get a feel and take a look through. Um, another thing here is, you know, talking to your friends and people that, you know, talk to people in stores, um, people that work there, if they're knowledgeable about the game can certainly help you out too, um, on figuring out what to buy. Um, if you can try out the army, definitely do that first, get a feel for it so that you, um, kind of know what you're getting into, make sure that you actually like it. Uh, you know, you can borrow an army, you can just grab like bases or other models to proxy it just to try it out. Um, Tabletop Simulator is a good way to do that as well. You can just, uh, you know, test out the army online. So you kind of get a feel for it in general. Uh, and finally, before you start buying stuff, uh, you want to plan out your purchases. You know, try and get, you know, at least 2,000 points, probably 2,500 or so at the most just so you have a few options to try things out. But you, one thing I cannot stress enough, don't go buying things willy-nilly. Um, you know, have a good idea of what you like before you head to the store and start making purchases. And finally, actually buying the army. This should be your last step in starting a new army, not one of your first ones. Um, you know, I would say I probably put these in the wrong order, but if you don't mind secondhand models, check out eBay, check out your local stores if they resell stuff. Um, a lot of times you can find uh, armies for a pretty decent deal uh, to get yourself started there. That's usually going to be a lot less than MSRP. Sometimes it'll be painted already for you, too, if you, uh, you want to just kind of jump in and don't care as much about the painting aspect of it. Um, as far as... Um, actual just merchandise to pick up. Uh, currently, the spearhead boxes, uh, there's one for every army, uh, at least one. There's uh, a few of them have a couple now. Those are just a good way to get started. They have a decent amount of stuff, usually about like 750 points or so in the box, and usually it's you know, staples for the army. Uh, every year they do battle force boxes around uh, holiday time, Christmas time. Uh, those are much larger boxes, like two or three times what you get in the spearhead. And, you know, they're still steeply discounted compared to uh, buying all the stuff individually. The old start collecting boxes, and I'll say this for battle forces as well. Uh, the old ones from prior years, you can usually find on eBay, sometimes on like Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace. Um, that's another good resource. Um, 
even just in a local store that happens to have some dusty old thing on a shelf that they forgot was there. It's just been sitting there for a while. The old start collecting boxes are very much like Spearhead and Vanguard. They're just smaller versions of it. There have been other things, like kind of towards the end of editions, they uh, release boxes um, like the Dawnbringers uh, series uh, at the end of third edition was like that. Those are still kicking around too. Usually not huge boxes, but uh, as always with these like bundled boxes, they're always at a discount compared to buying them individually. And then there's two player starter sets. Uh, usually there's like a current one and then uh, old ones that you might be able to find. Uh, you know, these uh, you're either going to have to split with somebody that you know, or you're going to have to try and sell off half of it on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something. But uh, those are, again, another good place to start. Um, and also just finding inexpensive sources for new models is important. If you buy online, you're usually going to get it for cheaper. Um, if you buy directly from Games Workshop, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be full MSRP. If you buy from um, a lot of brick and mortar retailers, most of them are selling it at MSRP as well. So if you're looking to get in cheap um, and you're not uh, too huge on supporting your local game store, uh, you can you know go shop online, find uh, good deals, and pick things up that way. Um, you know, easy to find 15, 20% off of MSRP poking around on eBay and uh, other places. So that's about it, guys. This is just like the primer on how to get started in a broad sense. Uh, look out for more videos on specific armies and check out down below for additional resources for everything I was talking about here. All right. Thanks again. I'll talk to you all later.